Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Olivier, I am a certified meditation teacher and in today's video I want to share about how to get back into your meditation practice if uh, you fell off or how do you uh, establish a consistent meditation practice. I have shared some tips about it in the previous video and I will share the links uh, to this video in the description. So today I will just add to it. It is very common when we experience the, the benefits of meditation to practice for some time, to feel inspired and excited about it. And then as time goes, we fell off. We meditate less and then we stop completely um, our meditation practice. So it is a, a very common. It happened to me many times. Uh, and it's very important to reflect on this with, um, from a perspective of uh, nourishment. What I mean by that is that our meditation practice is like anything else. It needs food to survive. We need to nourish our meditation practice. So, for example, um, there are many types of meditation practice. Pick one that you like. So, mindful breathing, scanning the body, relaxing the body, uh, mindful walking is, a, is another type of meditation, mindful eating, loving kindness meditation where we send uh, wholesome wishes to people that we love, to ourselves, to other living beings. So find uh, a practice that you enjoy. If you're not too sure about it, you can leave a comment below um, and maybe I can share about the different types of meditation practices. Tip number two is to make it as easy as possible for you to get started or to get back into it. So instead of meditating for 10 minutes, if that's your goal, meditate for five minutes or for three minutes or up to 10 breaths. For example, lately I started uh, running to exercise, do a little bit of cardio. I am pretty neutral about running. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But often when uh, the moments before I start running, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit dreading it, dreading the effort. Uh, so what I tell myself is that just get, uh, just start running slowly, just jog a little bit. You don't have to do 30 minutes, you just get moving. And without having, I mean, without telling me to um, run a certain amount of time in a certain way, just taking it easy at the beginning, it really helps me to warm up my body and to get into a flow where I can run for some time. So sometimes the first bump is the most difficult. So the same with meditation. You don't have to sit in a particular way. You can sit um, on the chair on which you work maybe uh, and just start to breathe five breaths, 10 breaths, and as you slow down your body and your mind, it will become easier for you to uh, continue practice for a little bit longer. Tip number three is to find companions uh, for you to uh, support you in your practice, to share about the practice, to learn from each other. Uh, it's easier to do an activity when we do it with other people who do the same activity. So for me, Joining a Sangha, that's what we call, um, it's a community of practitioners, was the single most helpful tool to help me develop a uh, consistent practice. And sometimes I stop going to the Sangha for some time and then my practice would suffer from it. So it occurred to me that uh, it would be helpful for you and also for me to uh, start meditation together, practice together. So I'm thinking of maybe organizing a live Zoom meeting uh, where we could uh, get together. I will get a meditation um, and when we could share, ask questions, reflect on things. Uh, I'm thinking maybe once every two weeks uh, to get started with 30 or 45 minutes. So if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments uh, below and also go to my website at peaceful dash breathing.com and sign up for my newsletter. 
uh, I actually don't send that, that many emails but if you sign up I can get your email and then I can uh, contact you with more information on that the zoom link the time and so forth so joining community is very important in your meditation practice in sustaining it and last but not least is the discipline so a lot of time we have busy days we feel restless we worry about things um, and so all those elements uh, they push us towards not meditating because when we are restless when we are agitated it is very hard to stop so that's why being disciplined uh, with our practice will help us meditate more consistently because when we meditate regularly it feeds our practice it makes it stronger it helps us to slow down more often it helps us to stop more often if we are running constantly fast uh, it is very hard to stop you know for example a car if it's driving fast it's hard to stop but if you have many stop signs on the road maybe bump um, to help you to slow down it is easier to stop so it is the same thing we carry a certain velocity with our task our daily task and a regular practice helps us to slow down helps us to stop to summarize video the point is that we need to look into our practice as uh, something alive that we need to nourish that we need to feed so we have to find ways to um, to give nutrients wholesome nutrients to it so practicing often uh, finding friends finding inspirations reading books about meditation or watching videos for example i have um, this book from uh, tidy at hand uh, with very short essays you see one pages each so you can read that uh, before you go to sleep or when you wake up after you wake up that helps to feel inspired that helps to nourish our um, intention to meditate i hope that uh, you have found this video helpful um, again if you are interested in joining a community to practice together uh, please let me know by subscribing to my newsletter or in the comments below uh, i'm looking forward to practice with you and get to know you um, and yeah encourage each other support each other um, i think it will be beneficial uh, for everyone so thank you for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video bye